Hey guys, uh, coming to you from out front here, and uh, I, I thought I'd show you a little closer look at one of my cigar box guitars. Um, I kind of did a video before and showed all of them at once, but I thought we'd take a little more in-depth look at one and uh, show you how it's made, that kind of stuff. And I brought it outside, so maybe the lighting would be a little better, hopefully. But uh, and this is my Arturo Fuente model, and this is completely hand built now and, and I'll show you some of the features here um, as you can see this tailpiece here this is actually a kitchen cabinet hinge <coughs> uh, and then you know that's just bolting on there as like a tailpiece and then the you know I drilled four holes back here uh, equidistant holes so that we could put the uh, strings through there and everything and make sure they were nice and smooth and everything so they wouldn't cut the strings um, this part back here is a trunk handle you know off of a big like steamer trunk and I just took the handle portion out took the plate flipped it over and then put this threaded rod in there and use that as a, as a bridge and that uh, works pretty well and if you look uh, hope you can see I, I just you know I kind of use what's around and I put some spacers in there and, and these screws and then you can uh, you know swap them out shim it up and down um, so that you can set the bridge height exactly how you want it so your action is just the, the right height and everything um, the humbucker pickup here is like a, a fender style humbucker and just like on any guitar this screw underneath this plate uh, there's a spring on that screw and then it goes to the bottom of the pickup so you can turn the screw in and out uh, to raise or lower the position of the humbucker there and then the thing surrounding it there as you can see is just like a solid brass uh, switch cover you know like for a light switch or an outlet and I just cut it out to make it fit correctly around the, the pickup there and uh, it seemed to work out really well and also I'm able to through this uh, since this is all metal assembly I was able to actually internally ground these uh, strings um, just for safety and that kind of thing uh, and then you know underneath here uh, there's a uh, uh, Fender uh, 500k volume pot I believe if I remember correctly and uh, up here for a sound hole cover um, we've got a closet pole socket and you know, just like what you put in your closet uh, to you know to hold the dowel right in so you can hang your clothes up and that kind of stuff and then you can see that I put uh, you know your fancy little brass box corners um, which actually does make it a little more durable when you're banging it around keeps it from getting all bashed up on the corners and it looks kind of neat too I think um, and I always try to build them whenever possible lay everything out the best I can so you can still see the label and everything when you're doing it and even like the, when uh, I brought the fretboard over I tried to cut it out so you could still see all that so it kind of look look nice as well um, the fretboard is made of red oak and uh, those frets, as I mentioned in the other video, those are actually the little stainless steel strips that come with uh, windshield washer blade or windshield wiper blades, rather. And uh, I cut each one, ground them down, rounded them, everything, and then I set them in there. And I, I cut the slots, believe it or not, not with a fret saw, but with a hacksaw. Um, I've got a little mini hacksaw I use, and just through practice, I've gotten where I can eyeball it and, and get them very nice and level. And uh, and you can see how well it plays by, uh, you can check some of my videos, like of my nephew playing it and that kind of stuff. And you can see that it's fully functioning and those frets do just fine. And, uh, and they haven't really worn down at all. That, that stainless steel is very tough. Uh, the neck itself um, is made, and you, actually in this light you can still see a little line there. It's actually made of three pieces of wood. Um, two strips there and then a, a third larger uh, piece of red oak there and I laminated that all together sanded it down and uh, it's I mean it's very stout plenty strong for four strings obviously and then up here you can see that I just used a brass bolt uh, you know for your nut up here and uh, that seems to work really well and with these uh, I use these little brass eyelets as like string retainers and then uh, in the center here I actually did use a roller string retainer or string tree whatever you want to call it and uh, but that just makes sure that your strings uh, stay in place well it works good and I used a pretty good style uh, uh, these are a ping brand tuner which uh, you know not the most expensive tuners but they're they're plenty good and uh, 
they've worked out real well and I got some little brass hooks here for uh, to hook a guitar strap on on the back you can see I wrote the name of my company and signed it and that's all hand painted in uh, what they call black adder script which is like pirate writing and then uh, then I, I took a kick plate from a door and cut a little panel and then there's a cutout underneath that so that you can get to all the electronics and you know I was trying to think ahead in case there was ever a problem and you just gotta remove those four screws and you can get in there and do any kind of work you need and because you can see that uh, that corresponds with the location of the jack uh, and the volume pot and everything so and uh, uh, I mean these guitars have, have proved to be real durable um, like I said, I've shipped them out all across the United States, and I haven't had any complaints. Everybody's been having a good time with them, and we think they're a lot of fun, too. Um, I just plugged this into this. I just got like a cheap old, uh, I don't know what do you call it, amp, it's like a karaoke machine. I'm going to plug it in and just show you that it does make noise here. And uh, Oh, and the strings. It's a four string, uh, just to be different. And just so you know, it's utilizing the, the middle four strings uh, of a standard electric guitar set. Okay, so you got your uh, A, D, G, and B strings. This particular one's tuned to an open G. Uh, actually, I think I've got them tuned uh, G, D, G, B as you go across there. And uh, but, I mean, there's a variety of ways you can tune them. Hey, Jordan, you want to help me out here for a second? But anyway, I just thought we'd take a closer look at one. Uh, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Jordan, just plug it in. And I'm just gonna play a few seconds just so you can hear it. Like I said, I don't judge the sound quality by this amp. I would turn it down. is all you need to do that so anyway thanks for taking a look at it and i'll see you guys later bye